Making a movie is a hard thing to do. There's so much effort and thought that goes into making a movie. There's the pre-production aspect of writing a script and a screenplay, organizing all the actors and production team, cinematography, all of which cost a lot of money. Then you actually have to film everything, which could entail transporting all of those people to another country, and before filming, you have to have a complete schedule of all the scenes you have to film in order to get it done on time. Then there's all the post-production, the visual effects, the score, the editing. There are people whose entire job is making footstep sounds sound just right in movies. And I haven't even said anything about animated movies, which could be years of hard work drawing or animating and perfecting each frame in order to bring a vision to life. Let's just say there's a reason the credits are so long on most movies. There are so many things that have to go just right in order to even make the movie in the first place. But what makes a good movie? Honestly, the question is kind of subjective. I might hate a movie you might love, or vice versa. I think there are movies that most everyone would enjoy, and films that most people would hate. Is a movie good because of acting, good cinematography, a good soundtrack, a good story? Maybe. But honestly, I don't think it's just one thing. A movie can have one of these things, but still be labeled as a quote-unquote bad movie. There are fantastic movies out there that don't really have a plot, and are more character-driven and about the interactions of the characters. A movie could have a good performance but bad editing, or a bad performance that is all anyone thinks about when they think about the movie. But when I look at my favorite movies, usually it's not just one thing, it's when multiple things work well together and complement the story that I think good movies are created. In the film Birdman, Michael Keaton gives a brilliant performance of a depressed, aging movie actor out of his prime, trying to reinvent himself by adopting a short story into a Broadway play. But this performance is heightened by the soundtrack, which is mostly jazz drums and percussion, but adds so much emotion to each scene. Another thing that adds to the story is the cinematography. The movie is filmed in a way that looks like it was filmed in just one take, and only cuts to black once. This lets us follow Keaton's character around the set and interacting with the other characters in order to understand why he and other characters make the choices that they do. All of the filmmaking choices are made to add to the storytelling, which I think is the mark of a great film. One of the most important things for me in a movie is the soundtrack and how it can contribute to the story. Like how, when the Joker is on screen, the music sounds unhinged and out of control. Or when the otherworldly music starts playing when the alien is discovered, which pushes the fact that we can't really understand what's going on here. I love movies. I love movies that get me invested in the story and characters and make me feel something inside because in an overwhelming world of the internet which makes me feel a little more dead every day, movies can make me feel emotions that I'd forgotten or maybe even never felt before because art can give life context when it doesn't make sense. And the right movie could be just what you need. So get out there and take a chance with a movie you've never seen. Because, I don't know, it might just be good. Hey there, thank you so much for watching this video. Just some thoughts that I had about movies in general because uh, I've been watching a lot of movies recently. If you liked what you saw and heard here, uh, go follow my letterbox. It's where I log and review movies for fun. Um, was this video just an ad for my letterbox? Yes, it was. But that's where I've been posting the most recently, so uh, if you're interested, go check it out. Yeah. If you like this video, consider liking and subscribing. I'm trying to make more videos in the future, but recently I've just been really busy, so I haven't really had a lot of time to make videos. Um, I actually made this video like two months ago, but it was just sort of sitting unfinished in Adobe. But subscribing would really help. So, yeah, as always, stay tuned, and I'll see you in the next one.